We live on a planet that circles a single star of immeasurable energy. This star, we call the Sun, is at the center of the solar system and is surrounded by planets, moons, asteroids, and dust. This is a story of one of those planets, our Earth. This story begins with a computer using a geographic information system, or GIS, to view the many layers of our world. GIS allows us to view, capture, and analyze these different layers. The Earth is composed of three main layers, the core, mantle, and crust. The core is made up of iron nickel with a solid inner core and a liquid outer core. Together, they are approximately 3,500 kilometers thick and 4,300 degrees centigrade. The Earth's mantle is a semi-solid rock and about 2,500 kilometers thick. Even though the upper mantle is still hot, it is cooler and more rigid than the core. Floating on top of the upper mantle are rigid plates called the crust. Averaging five kilometers in thickness, the crust is a thin, moving surface and hundreds of millions of years old. These rigid plates have collided and shifted to form continents and oceans. Mountains formed where plates collide. Some of these mountains are volcanoes, which rose as molten lava pushed through the Earth's crust at hot spots or along plate margins. Most of the world's active volcanoes are on the edge of the Pacific Plate, called the Ring of Fire. Earthquakes occur as plates collide, slip past each other, or move apart. Plate movements have formed the world's deepest oceanic trenches as one plate is subducted beneath another. Rivers journeying down mountainous areas and meandering over flat plains etch their way across the land. On the shores of these rivers and coastlines, humankind built communities. Along the Yangtze in Asia, the Euphrates in the Middle East, the Nile in Africa, and the Amazon in South America. Along the equator, the lands are generally warm throughout the year, but latitudes further north or south of the equator experience more complex weather patterns and climate differences. Earth's climate types are classified as tropical, Mediterranean, desert, and polar. The human race lives in all these climates. Our lighted cities dot the globe and illustrate the staggering growth of human population in just the last 50 years. This growth places a great strain on the natural ecological systems that sustain our planet. In order to live in harmony and sustain this precious biosphere, mankind must plan for our planet's health and welfare. Technologies can make a difference. Technologies such as GIS can help people explore the layers of our world to make intelligent decisions about how best to live in a city, village, or planet. Our globe is a new GIS tool that allows people to view the world from many perspectives and at many levels. It brings to life the many layers of our world. Our globe takes us to Australia, the land down under, zooming in to vegetation in infrared, to see rough topography of the Earth's surface, and zeroes in on a rock formation, a great monolith turned upon its side emerging from the desert. The ancient Uluru, or Ayers Rock, is sacred to the Aborigines of Australia because they believe it marks the place of the origin of the world. Geologists use GIS to examine a rock, a sand hill, or a cave to unearth the secrets of the past. Western science has found traces from the beginnings of civilization in the fertile valleys of the Middle East. Our globe takes us to Egypt, sometimes known as the gift of the Nile, because the life-giving waters of the river allowed Egyptian civilization to flourish thousands of years ago. Above the desert sands, 
a man-made form older than the Great Pyramids can be seen. Here resides the Sphinx, an enormous statue of a lion with a human face, gazing east along the 30th parallel. The Sphinx, like Ayers Rock, has endured the centuries in this spot. The climate, the religion, the languages, even the relative position of the stars have changed, but the Sphinx remains. Archaeologists and anthropologists use GIS to investigate these ancient civilizations. As each layer of artifacts is unveiled, GIS can help map cultural changes through time. Thousands of years after the construction of the Sphinx, people from Western Europe began to explore the new world of the Western Hemisphere. On the Colorado River, the Grand Canyon reveals the ancient geology of the planet. This great canyon provides a record dating back to the Precambrian age, with rocks thought to be 2,000 million years old. Traveling down the Colorado River, and across the desert, early Spanish explorers called this route the Journey of Death. After endless days in the dry desert, they came upon an oasis. This fertile valley, full of wild grasses and plentiful water supply, was dubbed Las Vegas, Spanish for the meadows. Las Vegas became a resting place for many travelers and a stopping point for the railroad. Spurred by the construction of the Hoover Dam and the supply of electrical energy it brought, along with the arrival of gaming casinos, Las Vegas boomed. City planners used GIS to view the city from every angle. GIS helps officials make intelligent decisions in constructing new roads and highways, identifying roads for repair, and planning for new traffic lights in their community. With GIS, utility companies can lay new lines, add more power grids, and provide new services to customers as construction continues throughout the county. School districts can plan for new schools, identify areas in need, and even route school buses with GIS. The complexity to fulfill the needs of a growing desert city of nearly two million people can be overwhelming. GIS brings us new perspectives and helps us sustain the places where we live, whether in the desert by building communities that are more energy efficient with renewable resources from the wind and sun, or in our ancient forests by preserving natural areas, reducing pollution, and saving unique habitats for future generations. GIS can show us the past, realize the present, and give us a look into the future of this planet. With GIS technology, we can better understand the many layers of our world and find new ways to preserve this delicate biosphere we know as our home, planet Earth. If you would like to explore your own community, get more involved and learn more about GIS, check out this website. Have a great GIS day.